Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing you a new Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide for Tuesday, April 25th, 2017. If you guys enjoy the video, please leave it a like rating. So I am sorry about the sound of the rain today, guys. I tried to record this video yesterday, and my neighbors were mowing their lawn. They stopped about halfway through the video, and they started again. A lot of planes going by, a lot of just Sunday noises going on. So uh, I'm doing this Monday morning and it's raining of course, so I'm not really having a lot of luck to start out this week except for that I did already get Underworld. But let's let's just get into it guys. Uh, remember all the info can be found down in the description if you guys miss anything. So first up we this week we have Underworld Blood Wars, rated R with an hour and 31 minute runtime. This is an action adventure fantasy with a 5.8 out of 10 rating on IMDB. <clears throat> Vampire Death Dealer. Uh, Selene fights to end the eternal war between the Lycan clan and the vampire faction that betrayed her. Uh, this one has Kate Beckinsale, Theo James, and Tobias Menzies. And it will be releasing on a 4K Blu-ray, Blu-ray, digital HD combo pack. Um, Amazon, Best Buy, and Target are all $27.99. I could not find the 4K version on the Walmart website. Um, and then Best Buy, <coughs> Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K steelbook with 4K Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD for $27.99. Kind of interesting um, that it includes DVD. As far as I know, um, all the 4K versions I've got haven't included a DVD. And I don't believe it's been advertised any of them included a DVD. This one wasn't advertised that it included a DVD. So I'm wondering if this is exclusive to the steelbook or um, if the standard 4K will also have a DVD. It's also not listed on uh, the standard version. Uh, what do you guys think about DVDs in a 4K? So, I mean, they gotta add. I mean, I just, I don't know. I'd rather not have it and have it cheaper myself. Um, and that's really seen on a Blu-ray, uh, digital HD combo pack, Amazon and Walmart 1996, Best Buy and Target 1999. And then also releasing on a DVD, Amazon, Best Buy and Target all 14.99 and Walmart 17.96. So as far as I could tell, this will not have a 3D release um, unlike previous Sony titles that included the 3D and the 4K version, it uh, doesn't appear to be that way, and it doesn't have a standalone 3D, and I'm not sure, was this one in 3D in theaters? I, I think they're trying to kill 3D, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if less movies are getting made in 3D. The only benefit they have, uh, really, is they can charge more in theaters. So maybe they'll... they'll put them in theater still and make less of them for home release I don't know that's just you know kind of my thoughts uh, but I did as I said I already got the uh, 4k steelbook and that unboxing is already up on my channel if you guys want to check that out so next up we have La La Land uh, this is rated PG-13 a two hour and eight minute runtime this is a comedy drama musical with 8.3 out of 10 rating on IMDb a jazz pianist falls for an aspiring actress in Los Angeles, starring Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, and Rosemary DeWitt. Also, J.K. Simmons. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are super excited about this. A lot of people told me uh, they were looking forward to getting this one. I am not a fan of musicals at all, and I watched the trailer just to give this movie a fair chance, and I kind of wanted to sleep, fall asleep during the trailer. So I don't think this is a movie for me, guys. I'm not going to pick this one up. Um, but it will be releasing on a 4K, Blu-ray, and digital HD combo pack. Amazon and Walmart $24.96, Best Buy $24.99, and Target $27.99. Also releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo pack. Amazon and Walmart $19.96, Best Buy and Target $19.99. If you do purchase this at Target, it will also have a bonus features disc with 30 minutes of additional bonus features or feature. I'm not sure exactly what it has. Uh, Best Buy will also have an exclusive steelbook with Blu-ray and DVD and digital HD for $19.99. Not really thrilled with the look of this steelbook. I know a couple people have already told me, you know, that they're not really into the steelbook uh, on this one. And uh, I don't have to buy every steelbook, so I'm not going to pick this one up just because I know I'll never watch the movie. Uh, also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $14.96, Best Buy and Target $14.99. Next up, we have The Girl with All the Gifts, uh, rated R, hour and 51 minute runtime. This is a drama horror thriller with 6.7 out of 10 rating on IMDb. A scientist and a teacher living in a dystopian future embark on a journey of survival with a special young girl named Melanie. Um, I've never heard of 
anybody in this, I don't think. But at least not that I'm aware of. <laughs> uh, you know, I thought this one, I just watched the trailer of this one too yesterday. I thought this one looked kind of interesting. It's, it's a, a zombie movie, but maybe it's a little bit different. I was kind of confused on exactly what was going on. It looked like the little girl was turning into a zombie, but maybe she wasn't trying to eat people. I don't, I don't know. And like the zombies too, they were like just standing there. And if you didn't make too much noise, they wouldn't see you. So I don't know, this could be something different. I definitely like to check this out, but I'm not in a huge hurry to check it out, I guess. Uh, so it's going to release on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo pack, Amazon and Walmart $16.96, Best Buy and Target $16.99. It's releasing on a DVD, Amazon, uh, excuse me, Walmart $11.61, Amazon and Target $12.99, Best Buy $13.99. Last new movie this week, we have The Marine 5 Battleground. <laughs> I've never seen any of these, nor do I plan to. If I was going to, I would probably watch the first one. But you got a question, like, how do they keep making these? I guess because WWE keeps paying for them. I don't know. Uh, this one's rated R with a 1 hour and 31 minute runtime. It's an action movie. Somehow it doesn't even have a rating on IMDb. When you pay, pay money for that, they don't put your terrible scores up there, I guess. Uh, while working as an EMT, stateside, Jake Carter... Stateside, Jake Carter, after responding to a distress call, finds himself caught up protecting a person of interest from a biker gang ruthlessly hunting them down. Uh, stars The Miz and a bunch of other wrestlers. Um, is anybody going to buy this? I know some of you are going to buy this. You are. Just admit it. Uh, this is releasing on a Blu-ray. Uh, Amazon and Best Buy $14.99, Target $15.59, and Walmart $18.30. Then releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Target, $13.59, Best Buy, $14.99, and I could not find this one on the Walmart website. So last thing we have this week is The Affair Season 3. I've never seen this show, but it will be releasing on DVD only, um, Amazon and Walmart, $25.09, Best Buy, $27.99, and Target, $28.89. So that is it this week, guys. Not It's kind of a boring week, really. Not really a whole lot to be too excited about. Um, I, I mentioned in my Underworld unboxing that I probably wouldn't review it just because I'm not familiar with the other movies and um, I really hate to just come in and review. This is like the fifth one. I really just hate to jump in right there. So um, probably the only video you'll see of new movies this week. I'll try to bring you guys some other videos. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. We're about to hit 18 hundred subscribers so thank you guys again so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video if you helped you out in any way be sure to give it a like rating hit that subscribe button if you haven't already check out the suggested videos and i'll see you guys next time